Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We go behind the scenes to see how Hellman's mayonnaise is made, as well as an insight into the special steps involved in the company's methods. What condiment can you think of that goes with almost every food? If you're thinking mayonnaise, then we're thinking the same thing. Mayonnaise is a food item that most people are familiar with. It's well known for its distinct taste and ability to add personality to every food it's mixed with. For example, if you add mayonnaise to a bowl of vegetables, it becomes vegetable salad. Add a spoonful of eggs, and it becomes egg salad. Or you can just use it as dipping for your fries. Any way you use mayonnaise is a good way to use it. But have you ever wondered how this versatile condiment is made? Mayonnaise has been around for many centuries, and there are a couple of stories that try to explain its origin. While the accurate one might not be known for sure, we can all agree that whoever invented it did us all a huge favor. Imagine being unable to spread mayo on your bread or use it as a condiment while making a special sandwich or a salad dressing. Mayonnaise is so commonly used that there is a jar of it in almost every household worldwide, and Hellman's is the world's largest manufacturer. Hellman's is a food company that produces a bunch of condiments, ketchup, mustard, sauce, salad dressing, and mayonnaise, which is perhaps their biggest source of revenue. Hellman's sells billions of mayonnaise jars worldwide every year, and this value has been increasing steadily for the past couple of years. So what about Hellman's mayonnaise makes it different from other brands? And why is it the best-selling mayonnaise manufacturer? Well, the answer to that is in the company's unique recipe. Like most food companies, Hellman's has ensured that their production methods and some of their ingredients are kept secret to prevent imitations. And for many, many years, they've managed to keep this information under wraps. However, in more recent times, most of this secret has been uncovered. And unlike before, we have comprehensive knowledge of how the popular Hellman's mayonnaise is manufactured. The production process takes place in all the different Hellman factories across the world. However, they are all required to strictly follow a recipe, which is the reason for the consistency you can attest to in every jar of mayonnaise. It starts with the ingredients, which include oil, egg yolk, vinegar, and a special combination of herbs and spices. The Hellman's company uses millions of egg yolks for their daily production of mayonnaise. Therefore, they have a poultry of their own from where the eggs are extracted. The eggs are cleaned and broken from the poultry, and the yolk is separated from the egg white using a machine called the egg separator. All the egg yolks are collected in a large tub, which doubles as a mixer, and they are stirred continuously for a few minutes until the yolks no longer stand as individual pieces and a homogeneous yellow mixture is formed. Next, this yolk mixture is pumped into a machine called the pasteurizer, where it is sterilized. Pasteurizing the yolks involves using heat to completely kill a common species of bacteria known as salmonella and other common ones that may be present inside the egg since the extraction was not exactly done in a sanitary environment. During the sterilization process, the yolk is heated in a pasteurizer for a few seconds within a temperature range of 50 and 70 degrees Celsius. And after being heated for a while, the mixture is left to cool down again. After getting rid of whatever germ was previously present in the eggs, the mixture is pumped into a sterilized tanker truck, which is used to transport the prepared yolk from the poultry to the factory for mayonnaise production. At the poultry, the farmer ensures that every corner of the tanker truck that will come in contact with the eggs is also sterilized to prevent contamination at any level. Finally, the tank is sealed shut with the sterilized valve, and the journey to the factory is set to begin. When it arrives at the factory, the egg yolk is drained from the truck's tank into a refrigerated tank through a special pumping system, and the yolk remains in this receiving tank while other ingredients are being prepared. Meanwhile, the second most important ingredient used to produce mayonnaise also arrives from the supplier, and this is oil. Soya bean oil is used specifically for mayonnaise production because of its flavor and dietary content. The oil also arrives in huge tanks outside the factory, so it is pumped into another receiving tank, where it's stored until the final ingredient is prepared. Finally, factory workers within the facility weigh the ingredients that make up the spices and seasonings used to manufacture the mayonnaise. Usually, powdered ingredients are added first, including salt, sugar, and natural and artificial flavorings. Colorings are avoided because the distinct yellow color of the egg yolks is enough to give the mayonnaise its color, and adding more coloring agents would make the mayonnaise appear to contain more yolks than it actually does. 
After pouring the powdered spices into a tumbler, vinegar and a specially made liquid flavoring are added, and the resulting mixture is stirred repeatedly. After the mixture is pumped into a large tank of water at room temperature, the combination of this spice and water produces what is called a slurry. This slurry is also stored in a tank, just like the eggs and soybean oil. But now that all the ingredients have been prepared, the content of each of these tanks is drained into a mixer located in the mixing room. The content of each tank is mechanically controlled by a computerized proportioning system. This system is controlled by a factory worker, who inputs the right values, and the specified amounts of egg, slurry, and soybean oil are pumped into a mixing vessel. Although the mixing occurs at a high speed, only small quantities of the respective mixtures are added at a time, allowing for the final emulsification mixture. The eggs serve as a binding agent, and some of their proteins also act as thickeners. This causes the once watery mixture to become thicker and firmer, resulting in a mixture that begins to resemble mayonnaise. The mixing process happens for a while and factory workers check in at intervals to take samples for testing in the lab. At each point in time, the extracted mayonnaise mixture is tested based on its appearance, texture, taste, and acidity using an acid indicator called a phenolphthalein. When the mayonnaise finally reaches the desired thickness, another sample is taken for the last quality check. And if the sample passes the test, the mayonnaise is sent off to the packaging area. On this side of the factory, newly made glass jars are assembled in a row on the packaging machine. The machine flips these jars upside down and flushes them with clean water at high pressure. Their orientation allows the water to drain quickly and easily, and the jars remain in this position for about a minute before they are returned to the right orientation. Next, the mayonnaise from the mixing room is passed to the packaging machine through a pipe, and as each jar passes under the machine, mayonnaise squeezes out from the nozzle and flips up the jars. The filled jars are immediately sealed at another machine, First, the jar is covered using branded foil papers, which protect the freshness of the mayonnaise and signifies that the jar's content has not been tampered with. Secondly, the machine twists on a plastic cap on each bottle, and next, the jars are taken to another machine that wraps the Hellman's label on each one. Finally, a conveyor belt transports these freshly packaged mayonnaise jars to a boxing area, where they are arranged in boxes and shipped off to retail stores worldwide. What do you like to put mayonnaise on? Leave your answer in the comment section below.